Okay, let's look at our chord function real quick here. So we're in the key of A where we left off on our chord function. Now we've got a two chord for a bit, moving to a five chord. I think I'm actually pretty comfortable here calling this a predominant area. And then this calling a dominant area. Because a five seven chord is hard to call, not call a dominant area. Although there are cases, which we've learned recently, uh, in which uh, that can be true. So here we're on tonic. Now we get to a two seventh chord. Now remember, here we might be starting to modulate. Things are starting to get a little hairy here. So, uh, but what is the function? It's a seventh chord. So I'm gonna call this a predominant area. Nope, I take that back. I'm gonna call it a dominant area because it does feel dominant to me. And that feels tonic to me. So remember, we're really focusing on what does it feel like here. To me, that feels tonic. Okay, let's let's think about what this next chord feels like. Okay, this feels dominant again to me. So I'm gonna say dominant here. This one uh, feels tonic or predominant. I could go either way on that one. But I'm gonna say tonic because that's my gut reaction which tends to go well for these kinds of things. This one, I can almost surely say, is gonna be dominant. Right, so let's call that dominant. And then dominant might stick around for a little while till we get to this G. In fact, I'm sure it will. So I think we're gonna be dominant all the way through here and then to tonic again here All right let's hear this part okay so uh remember these chord functions are all about how it feels